Well, in Photoshop, first thing that we want to do is set our background color to a high or lime green. So let's click on the background color and bring it up. I've got mine set to 24FF00. This gives it a very bright green color, it makes it easier to key out inside of After Effects. Click OK. OK, now let's create a new document. I've got mine set for a width of 849 and a height of 4037. 4,437. And I've got my background color set to background contents of the background color. Now for your height, you want to make sure that it is the height that you're going to need for the content that you're going to be pasting in. So if you've got a lot of content and you want the, the font, as you can see right up here, I'm, I have my font set at 35. So you would want your font to be readable uh, whenever you import it inside of After Effects, and so you want to make sure that the content is, uh, your document is going to be big enough to hold your content. So let's click OK, and here we are with our green bar. So now let's click on the text, and now click right at the very top here. Let's paste in, align our content. OK. And to zoom in, you hit Control and Plus, and this will zoom in to your content. And hit Control minus to zoom out. Now, if you need to do any type of editing to your document, you would want to zoom into it and then edit it as you see fit. Okay, so now we're going to save this document and on this one right here I want to check don't show it again because I want my documents to be maximized compatibility so let's click OK on that and now let's click save for web and devices Uh, as you can see, our text is huge and readable. I'm going to save it as a ping 8. Click on save. And we're going to save it into our Camtasia folder here, because that's what I'm using right now. And this is my Photoshop. And now that we have this imported out, the next step is that we're going to bring this out of After Effects and then we will scroll our text through After Effects. And the main reason why we're doing this is that if you were to take this inside of After Effects, just the text, and you try to paste this inside of a text element inside of After Effects, and then you try to scroll it, it will bog your system down. Resource crazy. So that's the reason why we're going to, uh, we're doing it inside of Photoshop is so that whenever we bring this out of After Effects, it's just a document that we're bringing this out of After Effects so that we can scroll the document instead of having to scroll the text. And so that makes it so that our After Effects project is not so resource intensive and it also saves time whenever we go to render it out. also saves a lot of time whenever we're editing the document within After Effects itself. So for the next part, we will see you back in After Effects. Okay, now back in After Effects, we're going to do two different examples here. First, we're going to create a text scroll that is simple and easy to make. Second, we're going to import our document that we created in Photoshop earlier, and we're going to scroll that. So let's do the first one first. So let's create a new composition. We're going to have this as a web video format at five seconds. Click OK. Scroll into it, click on text. I've already got it in my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in here. Okay. First thing we want to do is click there and click on P to bring up our positioning. And let's go ahead and bring this down to the bottom. 
click our stopwatch to create our first keyframe and then scroll to the very end and then let's bring it up we're going to stop it right there so now we've got our start and our scroll to our finish now unfortunately my computer right now is not the fastest in the world so I'm not going to give you a simple render out but as you can see scrolling through here right uh, right here that it does scroll from top to bottom or bottom to top I should say so next thing we want to do is let's import our file that we created earlier inside of Photoshop and that is right here so now let's bring it down create a new composition with it scroll down and the first thing we want to do is we want to key out our background click our little eyedropper here click on our green background and it didn't take it the first time try it again there she goes okay now we need to do a fill so click on generate and then fill and then we're going to change this to white and what this is going to do is it's going to change our text to white and there you go so click on position and let's bring this way down to right there click on the stopwatch scroll all the way to the end and then Lot of numbers okay so it starts off then it scrolls all the way to the end. That's all there is to it. So you got your regular text here. So you just create your keyframe with your text at the very bottom. And you scroll it through, and then you create a keyframe to stop it. And then you do the same thing with the image document that you bring in. Click key eight create a keyframe where it starts and then one where it ends and that's how you scroll your text hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, subscribe and look for more tutorials from Dark Effects Productions and this is William Barron have an awesome day thank you